This week's recipe demo is... Crispy Cupid Treats. And today we're going to find out if Cupid is going to show up in your house this week. <laughs> Valentine's Day twist. So Peter has the cereal. These are not the blue box you may be used to. Um, Voila. I don't know if this they is go, the good stuff. I don't know if they go snap, crackle, pop. I'm not sure. I don't know either. <laughs> we don't normally eat cereal, so. So we're using those. We're also using something that you might not be familiar yeah. with. Um, I have to talk Peter into buying this, which is kind of rare. <sighs> it's a vegan marshmallow cream. Um, it's gluten free, it's vegan, it is non-GMO, it does have soy in it, so if you can't have mm -hmm. soy, um, it's not for you. You could use any type of vegan marshmallow for this recipe. Yeah. It's coconut oil? Coconut oil to make sure it doesn't stick. Yep. So we're going to put in some coconut oil first, just a um, little less than a tablespoon. And you make these just like you would make normal Rice Krispie treats. Um, Rice Krispies, marshmallows, coconut oil, mix them up, really easy. Mm. Um, Speaking of coconut oil, Sarah did some oil pulling earlier today. My teeth look okay. good. They are so white. More on that uh, in another video. <laughs> All right, and so then we also have the, the whip, the, the marshmallow cream. Um, smells delicious. Smells. It does. Smells like Smells a like candle. Sugary. Um, and so we're gonna sugary put vanilla. this whole thing in. Whoa! Look at it. And you're just gonna want to heat that up with the oil. And then Peter, will you get the cereal? Beautiful. And so you're gonna pour. Um, I don't know how much is in here, but um, to like normal amount, I would do um, four cups of cereal. Or you can just pour the cereal until it's all mixed with the marshmallow. You're gonna want more cereal than marshmallow. Delicious. Yum. Okay, Pete, pour her in. Okay, you tell me when. Keep on going. And this is kind of like the fun part because it starts like sticking into your hand. Peter, oh my gosh, you're supposed to eat mm. this, not that. Ooh. That's just cereal. This would totally snap, crackle, and pop. Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't worry, clean up on aisle three here. Um. Oh yeah, this is looking good. So, it's getting mixed. I think we're going to need some more cereal. This is definitely one of the more healthy recipes that we've made. Here we go. Right? Hey! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If this is the first time you're tuning in to one of our videos, this is how we roll, people. <laughs> Alright. Peter, my arm's getting tired, can you? Okay, take over. Take over, it's calm. Let's see. Oh, I almost forgot. So, since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, we have some beet juice that we're gonna use to dye the Rice Krispies red. Now, if you don't have beet juice, you could use cherry juice, you could use like some strawberries or something. Um, so you just want a little bit try, to dye them so they're like a pink or a red, but you don't want too much because you don't want them to get soggy. And we promise it won't taste like beet. It won't taste like beet. It's a really small amount. It's a small amount. And the color goes a long way. And the color goes a long Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, but the, there's so much sugar from the marshmallows. And we're going to make a cool topping too. So um, you definitely won't taste the beet. There, when that's done, you want it to be really hot and melted. Because um, we're using a hot plate. It kind of takes a little bit longer. And then from there, you're going to put it in a Pyrex. And you actually don't need to oil the Pyrex because um, the oil from the coconut oil is going to sink in here and they're going to be really easy to take Perfect. out. Perfect. So simple. Alright guys. Okay, looking good. Looking good, tasting good. So now we're going to put them in that Pyrex. I'm just going to plop them in there. Can you, you want me to help? Woo! A, a heavy pot. They're nice and pink and pretty. Oh yeah. We're going to be giving these to our neighbors so we don't eat them all. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, Kate, come on over in five. <laughs> kind of tedious. You want to lay them flat and you want to press them down. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that so, looks really good. They should look like this. Right? And now what you're going to do is you're going to put them in the fridge 
um, to set for a little bit while you make the topping. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then we'll get started on the topping. <laughs> the Rice Krispies are in the fridge and now we're gonna melt the topping, which is just a mixture of peanut butter and chocolate. Did you ever have that as a kid growing up? Peanut butter and chocolate, yes, of course. On Rice Krispie treats? Never. Never. We did, did you guys? And it's awesome. Sounds kind of strange, but it's good. So, peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter. We're gonna do a quarter of a cup. I don't know if you need the spoon. And this... We, we got some peanut butter that was that's a little bit runny. Whoa. It's a creamy peanut butter. Um, and this, this roll, it's, it's only peanuts. So there's no other ingredients. No oils or sugars, which is really common nowadays. Oil and sugar and peanut butter. Yeah. Um, and this is organic also. Okay. If, if you can have peanuts, you could try almond butter. We eat almond butter, but as a kid, I always had it with peanut butter. So I just like didn't want to break the cycle. Yep. Okay, so here's... She's playing it safe. Playing it safe. All right, and then we're gonna do dark chocolate bar um, because the bars usually have less sugar than the baking chocolate. So uh, we like to do this when we can. Bing. And we're not doing, we're not using like a double broiler. We're gonna say that, Pete. I was thinking about it. Um, and the reason we can get away with it is because we have peanut butter. So it's gonna kind of carry the chocolate. If you were to do just chocolate, it'll just get stuck right to the bottom of the pan. It's no good. And nobody likes to waste chocolate. Mm -mm. So yeah, we're just gonna put these pieces in here and it'll slowly melt. And it'll combine with the oil with the peanuts. Okay, so that actually is not gonna be enough peanut butter or chocolate. So, cause this thing is really full. And we want a thick layer, so we're gonna add another quarter cup of peanut butter. And we're using the whole bar. We're using the whole bar. We're going all out, you guys. Yep. Okay, so it is all melted. We are totally melted. So now you're gonna pour a layer over the top. Nice thick layer. Oh, these look so good. They have Valentine's Day written all over them. It smells like childhood memories in here. <laughs> yeah. cool. Okay, trade off. Trade off. Finishing touches. Oh, yeah. And if you're like really crafty, you could put a heart. Cut out mm, in the middle. Perfect, and right the, here. No, not that. Like a cookie cutter. And um, okay. pour the chocolate around it. So then there'd be like pink in the middle. All right, this looks cool. awesome. All right, so now you're gonna put these in the fridge. But before we do that, we're gonna tell you guys why you should make these. So you should make these because, well, they're fun. They're fun. You should also make these because they are seasonal. And not like you think seasonal, but because Valentine's Day is coming up seasonal. And also because they are downright delicious. Yummy! So thank you so much for joining us. Go make these, what are we calling them? Crispy Cupid treats. 